Matt, I know a lot of people feel like we can never have enough rod holders on the boats. I know it's getting pretty wild and crazy out there with some of them. Um, can you give any advice to people that are looking to add more rod holders? And the question comes up, what angle do I use and why? Why do I right. pick a zero versus a 15 versus a 30? What, what, what can you tell people about that? Yeah, I think a lot of that just comes down to what style of fishing are you trying to do and where are you putting the rod holder in the boat, right? I've seen hundreds of different, like infinite number of different configurations, but it really comes down to what you're trying to accomplish. You know, if I'm, I put a couple of rod holders in the bow of our Everglades and with the intention of kite fishing. Right. So I put a rod holder in there. I went with a 15 degree rod holder because I want a little angle. I don't want them vertical so that they're shaking around. And but it was enough so that when I put the trident in there, I could put my kite rod and a couple a couple of other you know rods in there that you know, I'm mm-hmm. running up the kite. And I got everything that I need. Um, you know, the other thing that I did is I put 30s on the side of the gunnel facing straight off the side. Right now. The reason I did that is I'm doing a lot of bottom fishing out of those rod holders, Mm -hmm. right? If I wanted to put an electric reel in there, that electric reel, even on a bent butt is going to be more horizontal to the water so that when it's, when you're, when you're cranking up, you know, a big like yellow eye or something, you're putting a lot of pressure on that rod. You don't want to be doubling that rod back on itself. And the nice thing about having those all over the gunnel too, is like when you set up drifts and Mm -hmm. and positioning of the boat, you, you really want to have more than one option. Right. Because if you only have one option, then you can only set up one way. Right. So having those in different places on the boat allows you to to utilize more space in certain drifts and all around the boat. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we've got 15s on the side for our flat lines when we're drifting, right? The 30s point a little bit more. The the 15s allow the rod to load up a little bit better when, say, like a kingfish or something starts running off with it. That way, if it starts head shaking, the rod still maintains pressure. I think the, 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 the norm and the... You, jump in here if i'm wrong you'll see a lot of boats where they'll have zero degrees back by the transom right in the middle yeah. they'll have a couple 30 degrees out by the the back corners of the transom Shooting for trolling back. and then mm-hmm. 15 degrees down the side kind of angled out a little bit if you wanted to add some more rods in there for trolling in a lot of cases yeah i would say the the typical configuration is zeros and 15s along the back of the transom right okay. and then 30s for like the first three rod holders up the gunnels, mm-hmm. right? You got a straight back one, one a little bit pitched out, and then the next set closer to the console is pitched out a little bit more. Those you're probably going to run from your riggers if you're trolling, and then you've got your flat lines, which are straight back, and then your 15s and zeros that are along the transom. A 15 you'd probably troll with a zero is probably just for transportation, right? Gotcha. And and that's a, a pretty standard configuration that we're seeing a lot of the new boats coming out with. Yeah, mm-hmm. one, one cool thing I saw, a buddy of mine uh, has a, a newer contender, and they've got some zero degree flush mount rod holders mm-hmm. up towards the the casting deck. And so, you know, he's actually using a pretty cool part we built for him to kind of have like a little makeshift rocket launcher type of deal. That's but, the Contender Bay boat, right? Correct. Yeah, the 25. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they've, you know, they're putting rod holders in different places. And I think it's super convenient. If you're up there and you're trying to land a fish and you need to put the rod somewhere instead of laying it on the deck, you can drop it in that nice zero degree. Absolutely. Um, that's the nice thing about a lot of the, the bigger center consoles now, too, is that you'll see sometimes zero degrees running all the way up the bow. And mm-hmm. the reason for that is you know, sometimes what they'll do is they'll keep a pitch bait up right. the bow mm-hmm. and that pitch bait's always ready. And now they have a rod holder to store it in. So right. it's, it's and the nice rod holder, there. Yeah. The rod holder at that point is just for storage, right? It's just for tra- transportation. It's readily, readily available when you need it, but you're not necessarily fishing out of it. So that rod's not laying on the deck. It's not right. in anybody's way. If you're fighting a fish, if, and it's got a, it's a bait ready to go on it. So you can just walk up there, grab it out of the rod holder. Right. You know, awesome. As you need it. So a lot of options, a lot of options. There's no Three. real right answer. There's no real right answer. Right. <laughs> And, and that's the, that's the biggest thing to like take into it. It's select what works best for the way you're about to fish. Yep. 